스페이스에서 This is um, this is Wellington. Uh, I remember this game uh, pretty well. Uh, it was a World Cup year, and um, I just saw space uh, at the back uh, of the ruck. And normally, if you see space, you call tops. And it was a good kick, and I uh, kind of knew the pass was coming because I knew normally when you feel pressure, the pass comes. So I, I was lucky to get the timing on that pass. On uh, this game, oh yes, this is just this is just <laughs> pure emotions uh, because a few months, a few weeks before this, I didn't make the Lions test match and you can see the emotions because it, it, I worked really hard to get back into that team. Uh, so there was a lot of emotions going through there. Uh, I don't normally get too emotion when I score tries, but uh, uh, I remember missing out on the Lions and that was my uh, first game back uh, being wearing that, that jersey again. So that, that, that moment was real special for me as well. Yeah, this is a very long time. You can see the quality of the video. Uh, it's in 2003, uh, World Cup game. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those uh, one of those things when uh, you tend to say you have to express yourself, and I uh, just remember uh, having fun. Uh, that's just per having fun, um, enjoying myself and enjoying the moment during that time. So um, I was just expressing myself as one of those things when you, you play around as a kid uh, in the backyard or you play with your friends at school. Uh, and lucky enough, you get this one opportunity to do it. And uh, you, uh, well, when it comes out like this, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's quite cool. <laughs> I don't know how to say, explain it, but it's, uh, it was a good moment. I just remember the, the guy coming, closing the space early, and it was just lunchtime, uh, lunchtime games now, and just having fun, and just reminding yourself why you play the game, and just to, to enjoy it. Can't do it now, obviously, the knees are not 100% as what it was back in 2003, but uh, special memories, special times, especially the players around myself, uh, good mates I uh, uh, made uh, during that time. And to be honest, uh, I hadn't practiced that move the whole time. I'd done it once, and that was in school rugby, and that was when I was 16 years old, 17. So the next time I've done it there, obviously I've just turned 20. Uh, and when I got to France, the first year in, uh, in, first year in Bayonne, uh, they cut it. They cut a good, uh, they had, we had to do an exercise and you had to spin and the French boys were, were giving me a hard time and call it the old, uh, I don't know, worker spin. I don't know what that was, but uh, it's amazing how things uh, continue after a game. and. Um, yeah, so that's just a that's just a young kid having fun. Yeah, this is World Cup 2003. It was a big game. It was a must win uh, playing against our, our big rivals, the, the Springboks. Uh, this kind of pass you just expect. You, you expect from a guy like Carlos Spencer. I uh, played a season with them uh, for the for the Blues. And uh, it was one of those games when you expect the unexpected and just seeing the pass go through his legs. Uh, it wasn't a shock, it was just something that Carlos Spencer would do. And uh, I was just lucky enough to finish off well. Yeah. Oh yes, good old uh, Bayonne. Uh, playing Grenoble on the good uh, weather, Basque weather day. Um, what we have here? Just. I guess one of those desperate games as we do in Bayonne every year, we're fighting to stay up. Uh, oh yeah, this is our call of, we went to the blind side, uh, called Matthew just for a late uh, return ball. Uh, the reason I was holding the ball up was uh, one, was trying to see if I was going to get tackled out and pass it in. And uh, the second option was just to pretend uh, I was looking to pass, but uh, continue my speed at the same time. So it, doesn't, it looks like it's almost like an illusion, like you, you're pretending you're slowing down, but you're really running hard, running fast, but you stop the defender. So lucky <laughs> he actually stopped a bit. So I turned, I told Matthew that I was coming around. Uh, just tell the defender I was going to pass, but I'm actually trying to run fast at the same time. Uh, and yeah, the space opened up and I split my finger there. <laughs> For some reason, I had four stitches after the game, after that, after putting the ball down. 
Uh, but yeah, so first thing is looking for a guy inside the sport. Uh, but returning, I'm actually going to pass, but continuing with my speed so he doesn't keep running fast and to get me. So having fun again. Yeah. I got to Bayonne. It was, uh, to be honest, it was difficult. Uh, I think uh, I wasn't prepared properly mentally. Uh, maybe uh, a disappointment of just missing out and, and, and being involved with the World Cup uh, that year. And I had to hold until there's injuries and, and then be available. So uh, coming in, it was it was hard. First, wasn't perfectly fit uh, mentally, uh, physically. Then I had some games uh, I didn't play really well, and I was expecting things to come my way, and they did it. And when you have expectations and your and your own expectations and the, the expectations of the people or the public that invest in you to come over and help the club grow, uh, it's higher than your own expectations. So it was difficult. Uh, but after that, uh, it just made me feel very hungry because um, we had new coaches. They came and my goal for that year was to get the respect back, uh, not, only from the pe not from the people, but to respect myself because I've, I've left from New Zealand being an All Black and I come to Bayonne, why is my standard dropped? And so for me, I was letting, letting uh, the legacy of being an All Black, even though when you're not an All Black, after, when you're playing for the team or after, you're always an All Black. So for me, I was letting the legacy of being an All Black after. So I was very disappointed. I worked really hard uh, after the season. Uh, for me, it was to get the respect for myself first then after my players, for my, for my players, then after from the public. And that was my uh, way to come back. And I had some, it was good timing. I had two coaches, uh, Christian Lant and uh, Christoph Delo, they came and coached. And uh, the first meeting with Christoph, uh, it was straight. And he said, um, I don't care who you are. I don't care about uh, where you come from, but you start from the bottom and that's, and that was perfect. So I, for me, I went, oh, okay, that's what I needed. You know, someone that could speak direct and straight. And I had to work hard and just don't complain and just uh, get the respect for myself, respect for my players and obviously uh, from the public. So for me, it was training hard. Before I can play like an All Black, I had to train like an All Black. I had to act like a professional. I had to get respect. I had to be, uh, be humble again, you know. You expect things, but you have to start again and build yourself back up. You can't just enter a club and expect everything just to come your way. No, it's, it's not like that, yeah. It's like any job, you start from the bottom and you work yourself up because you learn all the simple things and, and working hard and working together, being humble uh, will get, uh, we'll get, uh, we'll get you far in life. Yeah. Uh, it was a good memory of this, uh, for semi-finals against Claremont. Uh, I remember Max taking it to the line. I actually wanted to run outside Max, uh, but the hole opened up inside Max, so I changed my line. And the door was open, and it was an opportunity that uh, you know, I haven't seen. So I was meant to run outside Max, but I saw the gap inside, and I changed my line. And my old teammate, Scotty, I actually wanted to laugh in the beginning because I was actually smiling. Um, not that not really I was happy, but it was my old teammate that we always have one-on-one -on -one competitions in Bayonne. Uh, so I didn't, uh, oh, that was just per assignment, per fun. Uh, again, it was a great moment because it was a big game. Uh, and I love those challenges. I love big games, uh, big moments. and. Um, uh, something I really cherish was uh, I had a long time I haven't had space to run and uh, the hamstrings were working that day so uh, good enough that we came up with the win with uh, one's special try in the end and uh, Dan finishing off with his conversion and that's the, that's the best memory I had of that semi-final. Uh, this is uh, a yeah, special, uh, special game. Uh, I'm playing in Barcelona. Uh, just working off instinct, working off backing myself and, and not thinking too much of what to do uh, for in, with the person in front of me. And that hug was just uh, emotions as well. I think I was so desperate uh, to get the ball. 
Uh, as you see in this ruck, I'm just telling, putting my hand up. I'm so desperate to get the ball. Uh, so I finally got the space. Uh, so Habana come up and the chip kept I went over. I was already getting ready to pass it back into Goose in case uh, Lee Halfpenny came across. Uh, so the first thing was just concentrate on the ball. I know Goose is inside me. I was going to get ready to pass right then, but just re I didn't realize the line was another just two meters in front of me. So, and obviously the massive hug in the end is just per adrenaline, per per the moment. 14 players, 19 plus thousand people watching, spectators watching. Uh, your wife is watching in the stands, and it's. Uh, guys just working hard for each other. Uh, that's my main highlight is just 14 guys working hard in front of 90,000 people. Expectation is, uh, is massive and we, we, we defended like uh, hungry dogs and uh, we defended like brothers and we played like brothers and I remember this game we, I, just, I just sat there because sometimes in big games you don't take the atmosphere in and look where you play. Um, and I just sat there and I just looked around and made sure that I took everything in and uh, shared every single moment with, uh, with my brothers on the field. And uh, it was a good night. <laughs> a good night. So, you know, fun times, good memories, one of these memories that you will never forget. And hey, we're the first, first ever rugby team to play in Vasa, so we can say that. <laughs> and uh, that's something special. And uh, to get a win there, uh, it was to be uh, real close to my heart. So, a very uh, special memory.